Protesters and counter protesters are about to descend on Washington, D.C. for Sunday's Unite the Right rally. And law enforcement is gearing up for the potentially tense clash. Maryland state agencies have already been ordered to stand by. WJZ is live. Kimberly Eaton with how they are ready to help. Kimberly? Well, the rally this weekend is scheduled to coincide with the anniversary of the deadly white supremacy rally in Charlottesville last year. So leaders don't want a repeat of the violence here. And Governor Larry Hogan is already ordering state agencies to get ready to help out. Days away from a clash in the Capitol, on the other side of the state line, Governor Larry Hogan says Maryland is ready to help. In a statement Friday, he wrote to WJZ, quote, Hate has no place in our society, and these white supremacists and the racism they spew are not welcome in our state. As they and counter protesters head for Washington, he's instructed Maryland state agencies to be ready to respond and to coordinate in advance with D.C. officials. We know what our responsibility is uh, to protect First Amendment events, uh, to protect Washingtonians, and to protect our city. And we will do just that. District of Columbia Mayor Muriel Bowser outlining her security plans for the Unite the Right rally, saying she's activated emergency operations aimed at protecting property and, more importantly, people. Last year, confrontations in Charlottesville, Virginia proved deadly. White supremacy groups and opponents collided in the city. One woman died. More than 20 people were hurt, something no city leader wants repeated Sunday. Law enforcement's goal during the entire operational period will be to keep the two groups separated. Well, the city locks down and law enforcement gears up, Baltimore's religious leaders say they're planning a different approach. We're bringing people from Sandtown and from all over the Baltimore city to go to that night to right of a rally. Heading to D.C. armed only with this message. We want the people of the Unite to Right to know that we love them, we love everyone, and we're going to silence that negativity by showing love. And the protests and counter protests are scheduled for Sunday afternoon into Sunday night, and those are in Lafayette Square. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ.